Hello everyone, welcome to XSplit Monthly. My name is Kevin Kim. This month we have a lot to cover, including our update to the XSplit Broadcaster 3.9 PTR. And here is our product manager, Gareth, to tell you more about it. Hi, my name's Gareth, product manager for XSplit. And in this XSplit update, we're gonna be looking at the new 3.9 PTR. So for 3.9, the biggest updates that we have coming are the audio mixer, scene presets, and source grouping. So in terms of what those features are and what they entail, we have source grouping, which is pretty obvious from the name itself, I guess, but it allows you to actually collect a group of sources, put them into one group, and be able to move them and resize them. Uh, and it just makes it easier to categorize your scenes. I mean, you could even just use it as a categ category tool without actually really needing to, you know, do the whole resizing and moving together. Then we have the scene preset. So scene preset is a new concept that doesn't really exist anywhere else. And the idea is that you take one scene that has uh, a set amount of sources, uh, and then you can create multiple different variants of that scene um, just to prevent needing to create extra extra scenes uh, and then on top of that you actually have the ability to add a transition time which what that does is it takes the values from uh, one of the presets and sort of tweens or animates them to the next position so if you move a scene from top left to bottom right then when you switch presets it's going to nicely animate and you can get really creative with this feature then we have the audio mixer. So this is uh, a long requested feature and uh, audio in general is something that has been asked for from users for us to improve. And the audio mixer uh, at this point is, is, is very simple. Um, and what it will do is it'll allow you to view your audio uh, decibels to see you know, if you're too high, if you're too low. Um, but I think what this primarily represents is where we want to head with XSplit and audio. And this is the sort of first step uh, on that journey of us, you know, really trying to improve the audio features across the board for XSplit. And, uh, uh, you know, you, you will see uh, better improvements and more features for audio coming over the next couple of months. Then we have the gamepad visualizer. This is just a nice to have extension. Uh, and what that means is you add it to your scene, you have a controller plugged in, viewers are gonna be able to see, okay, which buttons are you pressing? Where's your analog stick pointing to? Uh, so it, for those that like to play uh, or like to make tutorials for things like uh, for games, then you can use this to do that. If you'd like to see ideas that you have in XSplit Broadcaster or as a matter of fact, any of the other products across XSplit, you can head on over to xsplit.featureupvote.com. There you can leave your suggestions, see what other people are suggesting, upvote the ones that you like. And I actually check this on a daily basis uh, and you know try and make sure that users know if it's coming uh, and if we'd be interested in adding it to the application. Additionally, uh, you can also reach out to us on Discord. So you can actually join that, discord.gg slash XSplit. Uh, from there, you can just talk to other community members. You can reach out to members of staff um, and just basically it's a method of just being able to get in touch with us. And then finally, uh, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter or other social media, uh, primarily my links are Gazren, G-A-Z-R-E-Y-N. Uh, and there you can just reach out to me, let me know what you think, um, just generally get in touch. Um, so yeah, that's it for this update. All right, thank you so much, Gareth, for that information. Now we're going to move on to our XSplit community updates. And we've been to EVO, also known as the Evolution Fighting Game Championships. It's the biggest fighting game tournament in the world. I was also there competing at Street Fighter. And while we were there, we were able to get some interviews from our stream producers at the event. So check it out. Uh, I started live streaming kind of for fun, like just kind of as a gimmick, just something that I wanted to do. Uh, and I saw a lot of people around me that I also wanted to live stream. So that was a part of what encouraged me to do it. The worst stream blow up that I personally have had is actually a content issue, not having videos during a big tournament. Uh, how did I solve it? I didn't solve it. We just kind of moved on with the show. So if you're interested, make sure to check out the full video on our YouTube channel. And for our international side of things, all the way in Japan, we've been helping out with production assets for Dice Cup, which is an event uh, featuring games such as Apex Legends and PUBG. So if you'd like to also check those videos out, make sure to check our description link below. 
And of course, around the world, we are supporting so many of the Twitch meetups in the city of Boston, Minneapolis, Adelaide, Toronto, and Saskatoon. If you'd like your events to be supported by XSplit, make sure to hit us up on our social media. We're also looking for some contributors for our XSplit blog. If you're interested in writing or creating content related to streaming, let us know and reach out to our social media. And more on our community updates, we're now accepting new applications for our XSplit affiliate program. You can check out the link partner.xsplit.com. And if you're new to XSplit or already a user of XSplit products, you can check it out and make sure to sign up today. Moving on to our XSplit Academy, we're going to be talking about the new scene presets. We'll talk about how to incorporate a new scene with a preset active or implement it in your existing scene in XSplit Broadcaster. Hey everyone, welcome back to XSplit Academy. I am Lewis from XSplit's media team. And as you can tell, this video is mostly featuring all the new stuff that's in expert broadcaster 3.9 ptr and what i want to show you here is how to use presets presets are one of the most powerful new production features in expert 3.9 and basically every scene can have three presets so you just add them here like so and then you want to make sure that the transition is on so let's put that as 500 this will be so that it can animate between scenes and if we go over here we can take a look at some preset movements right so I have these presets set up and basically what presets let you do is you can change things like cropping, position, size, shape, and even stuff like the colors. So all you do is basically you go to a preset and then you change something with it and then you go back to the next preset and then there's your animation. Pretty simple. And all you have to do is change the properties in here. So if I want to change, let's say more cropping on the right you know more stuff on the top cut my head off if I want to change my x-axis or y-axis I can do that uh, you know mess with the color here maybe I'll put myself way too too much saturation and that's all it is to changing the preset so it just animates those values pretty simple uh, you can also bind presets to hotkeys so you can see here I've set some hotkeys already for presets pretty straightforward so if we go to this scene over here and make sure to look at this you can see when I press my hotkeys my presets are animating between each other pretty straightforward and you can also use presets in macros so you can do some really wild stuff here. I've just set up a basic one. So when I trigger this hotkey, it's gonna switch the scene and cycle through some presets. So let's go ahead and check that out. The hotkey, I'm gonna go ahead and set, switch it to my scene here. Hit my hotkey. And you can see here, my presets are animating by themselves. You can see by the input selector that I haven't actually pressed any keys to do this. It's all doing it through the macros, all automated. So pretty much your creative possibilities are endless here. You can do whatever you want with presets. You can have kind of crazy stuff go on and animate a bunch of stuff. Uh, it'd be really cool to see what you do. Make sure to leave us some um, notes in the comments how you might use presets or share with us on social media all the creative stuff you might use with presets. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for joining Expert Academy. Uh, I'll let Kevin take it from here. All right. Thank you so much once again for watching this episode of Expert Monthly. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button for our updates. And if you're curious what we were up to last month, you can check out our last episode here. And if you want to learn more about XSplit Broadcaster and its features, we have a bunch of tutorials for you to see. Thank you so much.